All right, so this is the code we had from the last video we, when we just had a regular if statement. But what we want to do now is do an if else statement. So basically this one, um, something is happening and then we have um, this condition here. And if it's true, this stuff happens. And if it's not true, this stuff doesn't happen. And that's it. That's all the if statement does. But we'll say maybe that's that's cool because our string here, uh, our school status was uh initialized with something but let's say we don't know what that is right it could be open or closed so what we want to do is we want to have two possible outcomes instead of just one possible outcome to change the versus and having everything else stay the same so the only thing that we have to do differently is we just don't bother initializing that and all we do is we have our we keep this if statement the same and then we write else and then you can see here we just have curly braces with statements so this is basically um, uh, here we'll just fill this in um, oh, yeah, we can do that. <laughs> uh, so else we want to say school status um, would be open. All right. So that's kind of the same thing we were doing in the last video. But now instead of having it already open, um, we can just, uh, it's a little more flexible, I think. So here it's saying, now this kind of all gets grouped together as one sort of, uh, one sort of thing, I suppose. Uh, whereas if this condition is true, for example, if it is gr if precipitation is greater than three, for example, if this is a four, four is definitely greater than three. So it will do this stuff, and then it won't do this. It'll do this. It'll do the uh, the statements in the if section because it was true, and then it'll go to the end of the else statement and continue on. Versus if this is precipitation is not if this uh can't talk right now. Uh, if this is not a true statement, for example, if precipitation was one foot of snow, so one is not greater than three, so it's going to skip this part. It's going to skip this stuff, but now it's going to go down here to else. So if this is true, do this. Uh, basically, otherwise, do that. It's kind of a way to think of it. If and else, or if and otherwise. Um, you can't type otherwise, but that's kind of the way I think of it. So let's just uh, let's run this and see if it works the same as last time. So we're just going to save it. Um, make sure everything is going okay. And then when we go and run this, there we go. Uh, so let's say how many feet of snow fell last night. If we say again, let's say maybe five feet of snow, it's going to say school is closed today. And that's because it tested this and it was true, so it entered these statements and changed it to closed. Now if we, um, if we test this now, let's say with two feet of snow, school is open today. So what happened was it said, hey, two Greater than three? No, that's incorrect. That's false. So I'm going to skip these statements. I'm going to go down to our else statement here, and then I'm going to set that school status to open. And likewise, you know, it depends where you want to put these braces. I prefer to generally have them down here, or if you're more concerned about saving space on lines, you can put them up there. Likewise, you can put that one up there. All right. So that's uh, that's just a brief introduction to if else statements. Uh, catch me in the next videos, and we're going to talk about nested if else statements and else if statements. All right, see you then.